Welcome to Northwest Radio Controlled. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is actually my first broadcast ever. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of um, just basic upgrades here on the S912 Lucton from GP Toys. Um, first off the bat, you can see that there's a couple problems here. You might be able to notice uh, those tacky zip ties. Um, pretty awkward on the track, and I'm going to show you how to fix them today. All right, after taking off the shell, you're going to have to take off the shock tower. Now, for convenience sake, I had already had done that because I'm waiting uh, for some parts I just ordered in the mail, so I figured I might as well just have it already partly disassembled. But you'll note that there's four screws, one, two, three, four here, and then we got to take off these two uh, to take off the bumper rail. All right, once we got the bumper off here, we're going to go ahead and set it aside. Now... We got to take out these two metal connecting rods here. You can see that one, two, and to access the bottom one here, we're gonna go ahead and need to flip over that and take out one, two, those two screws there. All right. All right. And with that back skid plate out of the way, we now have access to the four connecting rods. We're gonna go ahead and take those four out, and we'll see what happens. All right. Once you've got those out, you're gonna be left with both sets of rear suspension. Um, arms there. Now, the reason that I have the zip ties on here, guys, is if you wondered, I've bashed this thing pretty hard so many times. I mean, right out of the box, I just hammered on this thing right from the gate. So what ended up happening uh, is my joint cups here, they wore out um, from the bottom of these arms. Now, I don't know if it's the cup or if it's the actual lower um, suspension arm here. So we're going to actually find out. Start off by just snipping this here zip tie. All right. Get that out of there. Wow, you can see that, guys. Just easy peasy. That is unbelievable. I can't believe it. I think the amount of force to take that off is just unreal. So what I went ahead and did is I got me two of those joint cups and then two of those arms there. And uh, we're going to see if we can't fix it up here. By the way, guys, uh, I believe these parts here were about six bucks uh, for the set of two, and those uh, universal joint cups were uh, are just around the same price, six seven bucks. Uh, you can go ahead and pick those off uh, up off of Amazon. I, I got Prime, so they sent them to me for free. So I got the brand new lower arm with the old joint cup. I see it shouldn't just come out like that. So it uh, leads me to believe that it is actually this uh, this joint cup here. We'll see, huh? Give me a sec. Rip into these new ones here. If I could, they make these things dang near childproof. It looks like. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. Put that there. Two of them, brand new. Oh, excuse my dirty hands. I was just out there working on the car. <laughs> yeah, so it definitely was the joint cup. Here I uh, I just went ahead and put both the new parts together. Uh, I didn't see the need. You know, that lower suspension arm was kind of defaulty. I didn't want it to hurt this new joint cup here. So I just went ahead and threw those on. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do that to the same, do the same thing to the other side. And uh, I'll show you the results when we're done there. All right, so I went ahead and got all the suspension uh, pieces assembled. The only thing left to do now is transfer the old bearings and the old, um, what do they call that, transmission cup out of this, um, out of the old piece here. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that here real quick. First thing you want to do is just pop off this hex. Pretty easy normally. Mine are pretty rusty, so I went had to get off camera there. Now you can see it's pretty rusty in there. Pretty simple. You just go ahead and slide that pin out. A little easier with needle nose, but hey, you know, a little ingenuity never hurts you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Set this aside so you don't lose it. Now what we're left here is with that transmission cup, and you should be able to just push it right on out. Look at that. Bearings and all. 
I'm gonna have to take this bearing, I think, out of this one. I'm not sure. Um, where's that new piece at? Yeah, it looks like it. So I am, I am gonna have to take the old bearing out and put it in there. They didn't come with bearings, but hey, no big deal. Sorry for the low, uh, low camera quality, guys. This is uh, my first video. I just ordered a couple new cameras um, off of Amazon.com. Um, they should be here within just a couple days. So you guys will be getting some better footage off of those. Uh, maybe some FPV footage off of a couple of the cars I got as well. Um, and I did download some awesome, awesome video editing uh, program as well. So my videos uh, here in the new future will be cut up pretty nice for you guys. All right, I went ahead and removed that bearing from the outside of that old cup there. I'm going to install it here on the new one, and it should be just a perfect fit. It should just slide right in there. Look at that. Nice. Nice and perfect. All right, so we got this here. Get her old out the way. You can see, boom, look at that. Perfect. All right. Drop her in there. She's sitting nice and pretty. Push her through, and you'll be good to go. All right. Got the transmission cup seated in there nicely. Last thing to do, take your pin. Just go ahead and line it up. Now you're going to want to make sure that it's somewhat even. See that? Pretty nice and even there. Get those four outlets. You got to lock one of those in there. So we'll go ahead and try to get that on there. See if we can't get that first shot. Look at that. Bam. All right. Wow. She's done. Spins nice. That's nice. All right. All right. We still got the other side to take care of. We'll go ahead and knock that out real quick. You can see it's already doing most of the work for me. Let's take that one off. All right. We got one screw at the top. That comes off. That pops off like that. All right. Now we have this last screw, and this one's also pretty important. You don't want to lose that screw as the new cups don't come with one. They do come with both top and bottom screws for the suspension arms, just not for this one. Man, I cracked out these old cups so bad. Come on, get out of there. Finally got that stubborn screw out. That comes off and she's free. All right, again, pin out. Set that aside so you don't lose it. Already had that hex off, so that's good for me. This simply just pops out like so. Don't forget about your bearings, guys. All right, I got the old components and the bearings and the new cup. Time for assembly. Man, that's so nice being able to get these new parts on here. You can see just how much more rigid that is. Yeah, this Lucton was my first RC car ever, actually, that I ever bought myself. Uh, it's the one that got me into the hobby. Um, I was always into quadcoptering um, before. Uh, still am, but, you know, it's kind of taken a turn. I'm really liking this RC car. I just ordered a brand new WL Toys 10 uh, 428, which is literally the same thing as a Vatera Twin Hammer. Just a little bit different body. Um, the graphics are a little different, and I've heard also that the electronics might be a little different, but, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about these trucks. I know a lot of guys, uh, that are still running the same stock electronics as well. Um, so that's still, that, that really gives me hope. I'll go ahead and pop that on there. She's nice and good. We got the last screw here. All right, we'll go ahead and get that in. Ta-da! All right, these are ready to be bound back onto the car's chassis. Let's do it. 
I like to just start by sliding in this bottom pin here first. Get that nice and lined up in there. Perfect. All right, we bring this top one around here. We get her right in there. Perfect. All right. Take that second pin I got. Slides in. Nice, easy. See if we can get it lined up the first try. Look at that. All right, perfect. Now, there's a little hole right there. This is actually on the side of the gearbox. It's not in the chassis. That's on the gearbox. Just take that, line that right on up, and we're going to screw her in. All right. Get on there, baby. There we go. All right. Just repeat those steps for the next side. All right, you guys. So there you have it. Pretty simple. This car is really easy to work on. It's actually pretty fun, in my opinion, because it is so easy. I can bash on it all the time, take it apart in the field, and fix it You know, right there on the spot. Um, you know, those plastic parts, the new plastic parts I got, really seem to be holding up pretty well. I mean, they're not, they're not coming apart anymore, so I don't really think I'm going to be having any more issues. Um, stay tuned. The next video I'm going to be posting uh, for you guys is going to be here to fix on the motor. I'm going to show you that I've got some problems in there, uh, exactly what it is and exactly how I can fix it. Thanks, guys.